Hi everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today we are here with an awesome watercolor portrait of one of my favorite animals, a tiger. In this video, I would like to explain how I did the background, which is a very interesting method, how I did the stripes and all these details I want to give you in this tutorial. If you would like the full tutorial of this portrait, please visit my Patreon website, patreon.com slash or you can be the first 10 people who comment on this video and I'm going to give you this tutorial for free. I'm giving you so many free resources. If you would like to learn which ones are there, uh, I'm going to explain in my description part what are the free tutorials that you can get from me. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, I give free art tips and free tutorials there as well. My Instagram name is art. I listed all the materials I used in the description below, so if you would like to buy them or if you want to check it out, they are all there. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please do so because that shows me your support. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Now, let's paint this beauty. Before we start, I want to tell you that I listed all the colors I used in this video in the description part. First, I started with the background. I use wet on wet method. If you don't know what wet on wet method, please check out my previous video. I share the link above right now. Here, I mixed violet and yellow and it gave this muddy brownish grayish color. And if you wonder why, look at this color wheel. I mentioned this in my previous video. Here you can see that video. This is why it looks muddy because they are complementary colors. We shouldn't mix them. This is why it is important to have your color wheel right next to you so that you don't mix those colors. I entered the base color of Tiger. It's burnt sienna. I literally put it everywhere first except the white parts. I didn't touch the white parts because around its eyes, some of his beard and where the whiskers are, are pretty white. Now I will show you a very interesting method for the background. Your paint or your paper needs to be wet to do this. So mine was a little bit dry, so I'm adding extra water on there. I'm going to add rock salt, not fine salt guys, not table salt, but it's a rock salt. It has to be a little bit crystal because otherwise it's going to stick to your paper. I am adding that salt right there. I am evenly distributing it as much as I can and I'm gonna leave them there until they dry. You will see that once it dries, it's gonna look wonderful. Now I continue with my tiger. I'm adding more orange and yellow tones because that's what I see in the reference photo. I am also adding more burnt sienna because there are some darker shades, as you can see on the nose and some of the parts and the fur. They are pretty dark, so I am adding more darker shades of burnt sienna. In order to make darker, as you know, for watercolor, you add less water. And for lighter shades, you add more water. For the eyes, I did wet on dry method. Again, you can watch it in my previous video if you haven't watched it yet. The nose was a very nice orangey pinkish color, so I mixed red and yellow. You see that I add a little bit of very light blue in the white area, some of the white areas. I just did that to make it pop. I just added some hue. The beard part, guys, was a little bit too short for me. I made a mistake there and I didn't know how to fix. But then I came up with an idea. I added some white gouache there so that actually it came a little bit like larger. It looks much better now. And for the rock part, I used exactly the same colors that I used for the tiger. As you can see, I'm adding more darker tones. And for the grass, I used very bright green, natural green and for the highlights of those grasses, I used some yellow. I would like to apologize for the parts that my head shows up. <laughs> uh, 
honestly i am literally blind guys so in order to see it sometimes i had to lean forward i apologize in advance so these are the most difficult parts to be honest the stripes in order to give realistic effect i used my tiny brush it's the number two and i made sure the surface was dry before i go in with my damp black color if you want to get the full tutorial of this painting it's available on my patreon website patreon.com slash or you can be among the first 10 people who comment on this video and you get it for free So all those stripes really take a long time. You have to add them one by one by watching the reference photo constantly. So it took pretty much maybe one and a half hour or two hours. You see, I use the blow dryer a lot because you have to make sure your paper is dry before you add any other layer. This is very important because once your paper is wet and you put another wet paint on it it's going to mix and it's going to blend and you don't want that muddy texture so I don't know if you see but I removed the salt in the background so you can see the effect that salt created already it looks beautiful I'm adding all those shades of burnt sienna all the blacks and trying to add more orange and yellow as I see them and more darker tones of brown and with the whiskers I didn't use white watercolor or gouache because white watercolor is not opaque enough and gouache is too thick so in order to give this thin realistic effect I used white gel pen but before you add this white gel pen detail you need to make sure again your painting is dry and you have to follow exact directions of those whiskers where they originate from in which direction they go so you have to always look at again your reference photo it's almost finished guys I'm just adding some details As you can see, I constantly added brown, orange, and yellow tones to make my tiger more realistic. I added layers after layers, but I also used a very light blue shade in the white areas to make it pop. Don't forget to dry your paper before each layer. As I said, it is hugely important. I listed all the materials I used in this video in the description part together with the colors. If you like this video, give me a like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. I would like to hear your comments if you have any, so please share your opinions and your comments in the comments section. I'll see you in my next video.